What are you doing here? I was just about to make my homemade cookies. Would you like that? But you have to promise me not to tell anyone, especially your mother. Okay, so today we are making Carol's cookies and we have been dying to try these cookies after seeing the last episode. Yeah, we saw this recipe on amc.com. They actually posted the official recipe for Carol's cookies. So we thought, oh, we gotta try that. Hey, Daryl, do you like cookies? I don't know. I like spaghetti. Things you'll need. One fourth cup of applesauce. Applesauce is the secret. We all have our little secrets. One fourth teaspoon of baking powder. One fourth cup of shortening. One cup of flour. Look at the flowers, Lizzie. Just look at the flowers. One eighth teaspoon of salt. One fourth cup of brown sugar. One fourth cup of white sugar. One fourth teaspoon of vanilla. Chad, where's the chocolate bar that? Oops, I had s'mores. <laughs> One fourth of a large chocolate bar. First step is to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Yeah, Fahrenheit. Sounds great, thanks Chad. Bye. Oh, I want cookies soon. Okay, uh, so you're doing cookies, now you just take the cookie stuff Mix it all around, and next thing you know, you put it in the oven like my mom used to do, and boom, cookies. Angie, we need you back. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> in a large bowl, combine the applesauce. Yep. Brown sugar. Throw it in the bowl. White sugar. Yep. And the shortening. Without, minus the fingers. <laughs> so, what do you do with this? Do you... <laughs> we mix it. Add the baking powder, the baking soda, the flour, and salt. Salt and vanilla. Mix until doughy and flour is fully absorbed. Let the dough stand for three to five minutes now. Time to melt the chocolates. Ah, I hate to give up a good chocolate bar, but in order to make cookies, it's worth it. Add the chocolate to the dough and mix until fully blended. All right, next step is to place the golf ball sized dollops. This is my favorite <laughs> step right here. I'm gonna help let's, out with let's this. Let's do it. Yeah, you first? Yep. I just punched through a zombie chest with my bare hands just before making these, so hopefully. I just pulled out a brain out of a zombie. I just stuck my fingers in a zombie's eye sockets. I found Merle's original hand and Held it. I reached up into a zombie and I was pulled its heart out with my bare hands and so making cookies now. Hopefully these are that's, good. That's a small golf ball, I have to say. I'm gonna have a small cookie. That one's for uh, the Wampa Kitty who keeps she's very interested in the cookie making here. <laughs> Bake for 11 to 13 minutes. <laughs> While we wait for the cookies to bake, remember, if you tell anyone, You'll wake up tied to a tree outside these walls. The walkers will come and tear you limb from limb, and no one will hear you scream. All right, cookies are done. We're gonna be trying them out. What do you think of the cookies, Rick? Texture reminds me of coral. I mean, real coral from the sea. My badge is too large. I think they're pretty darn good. They Carol is, are good. Carol is onto something. I would, I would suggest more chocolate though. We probably didn't use enough chocolate. Yeah, yeah, lots that. more chocolate. Yeah. But that's because they rationed the chocolate out in Alexandria. You know, <laughs> we, we just didn't get a chance to steal more. So thanks for watching guys. If you decide to try out some of Carol's cookies, let us know by tweeting us or posting on our Facebook. Yeah, links are in the description below and uh, that's it for today. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye cookies. If you subscribe, You'll get cookies, lots of cookies.